been getting a lot of questions about defense in Madden 21. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about a new defense that I think you're going to see a lot of people start to go to um, to get pressure on the quarterback in this game. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never seen one of my videos before. What I do on YouTube is I break down how do you get better on offense and on defense, right? I'm going to teach you different tips and tricks and strategies so that you could be effective in Madden 21. And I try to learn from myself, I learn from other players, learn from practicing, learn from my losses, um, and I love learning about this game. So uh, if, you're encur if you're encouraged by that or you wanna get better, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I post new videos every single day at two o'clock, at four o'clock, at six o'clock, and at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Uh, also, Merry Christmas. Today, we're doing a special Christmas live stream. We're gonna be streaming um, pretty much all afternoon. So if you wanna come by the channel, um, I'm probably live right now. Just click on my, my channel link and I'll take you to the live stream page. So um, what I wanted to talk about today is a new defense that I think you're going to start to see a lot of people go to um, over the course of the next couple of um, the next couple of uh, months, weeks, um, especially with some of the AP changes and just different cards that are going to come into the game uh, as we kind of transition to the um, next stage of Mutt. And that is the 3-4 Bear. Now, I've talked a little bit about the 3-4 Bear in the past, but we're going to talk a lot about it today. Um, and you see here, I'm putting my zone drops to 25 yards, my curl flash to 25 yards. Now, the, the key with this defense, you want to have auto flip on, in my opinion, but you want to have you want to set it to base align. Okay. Now you could run it with auto flip off, and I'll show you how to do that first because that's probably my preferred way to play. But based on some of the running schemes that you might go up against, you might need that to be on. Okay. We're gonna go to baseline, ball and air defense play ball, cornerback matchups. Um Yashi does this by speed. I'm not sure exactly why he does this, but I'm just going to leave it on balanced. And 3-4 uh, bear. And what you want to do is you want to put your best pass rushers on the outside. So for the Packers, that's Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith. And then on these inside guys, these are defensive ends. So you could put outside linebackers here, and that is an absolute must do. You have to put outside linebackers here. That's the key. Okay? So you have outside linebackers. You have linebackers everywhere. You should. It, it really should be a one um, five defense, right? One lineman and five linebackers. Okay. Um, but you just want your fastest linebackers in the game. The next thing you do is you want to put your fastest corners on the outside. So that's Perry Nickerson and Jair Alexander for the Packers. And then on the inside, we have Adrian Amos and Darnell Savage. Now the audibles you're going to want for this is you're going to want pinch dog three in your audibles, cover one hole in your audibles, cover two invert in your audibles. And I'm going to go ahead and say cover three. Okay, you could make an argument for Buck Strong Safety 3, but that's a play that I'll probably just come out in uh, situationally. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come in, out and pinch Buck O, and we're going to come out in this play flipped. And I first want to show this to you against the bunch, because the bunch, uh, to me, um, you're going to see that this is actually really, really um, effective against the, the gun bunch. Okay, so we're going to go against pinch Buck O. And what you'll see is this is the base alignment that you're going to get right here. So if you see something like this, what you're going to do, um, what you want to do every single time here is you always want to basically globally blitz your linebackers. So they all are blitzing here. And then you're going to unbase align and you're going to press coverage. See this basically this default look here. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to man up that um, that lineman or not that lineman, this linebacker right here, you'd want to man him up on the tight end, right? If you want to run this man version and then all you're going to do is you're going to kind of hover with your, with your defensive, uh, or with your safety. So I could run man coverage on the running back here as well with this left side guy. The reason you blitz the linebackers is so you can make sure you can get them in the gaps. And what I personally like to do is I like to stand right behind the nose guard. Um, you don't have to do that. You can stand to the right or to the left of it. I like to stand right behind him. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see here is you're just going to run down and you're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. Now, the reason this is going to be really good is not just because it's good pressure, but it's because that it's instant pressure. Okay. If you notice, it's instant pressure, meaning the pressure is coming in instantly right um that's what's going to happen with this blitz 
and you'll notice that you can do different things to make it even better. So you can mess around with your line crashes on this, and you'll see if I can mess around with my line crashes, it can make it come in off the right edge. It can come in off the left edge. It, it really um, it doesn't matter where you're at. The key is the hovering of your safety, and you can experiment with different crashes and different stunts. Now, why this is important is let's say that they block the running back on the side. I just want to show this to you, okay? So let's say that they block the running back on the side. So we set up our play here, um, and we're going to man up that tight end with that linebacker so that we can use, feel free to use her and get basically over the middle covered. And they're going to effectively, what they're going to do here is they're going to basically um, block their running back. So let me show you that really quickly. Whoops, my controller over here. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is they're going to block the running back, and he's going to be able to pick up the pressure here. So one of the keys with this is how do we get that linebacker on the right side or on the left side? How do we get the linebacker to blitz if they if the running back goes on a route? We want the linebacker to cover him, but if the running back um, if the running back doesn't go on a route, then we really want the linebacker to play him. Right, we really, we really would rather have that linebacker um, be able to, to basically play the running back if he goes on a route. If he blitzes, um, or if he doesn't go on a route, then we want him to blitz. Well, let's try this right here. So now we're just going to basically reman them up. Okay, so we're remanning them up, and you see here he's this the, the back still doesn't um, the back still unfortunately doesn't doesn't get manned up. Okay, so that's obviously uh, kind of irritating and not something that we want. So now let me show you this. So we're just going to run this play stock, and we're going to block that running back. Snap of the ball, you see that linebacker comes backed off. So really what you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to kind of play a little bit of chess game with the running back, in my opinion. Um, that's just kind of the way I see this. So what I would do is I would man up, I would man up the tight end with the slot, okay? And if the running back goes on a route, then you know that you have him. You're still going to get the instant pressure. But if the running back goes on a route, you have him. But if the running back block, or if you block, um, you see you're still going to be able to scream. You're still going to be able to get pressure home. And that's just blitzing. I believe that's just blitzing six. So you're sending uh, six pass rushers at six blockers, and you're getting one free every time. So I'm sending all my linebackers. So I'm sending three. Yep, three and three. So I guess I'm technically sending seven. Okay, but everybody's going to be manned up because I'm going to drop that linebacker on the right side in man coverage. Whoops, uh, let's get that set up. And now you're going to see everybody's manned up, so it's going to make it hard. He's going to have to make a quick read. And uh, what's really nice about this is, and what I love about the 3 4 bear is let's say they block the tight end now. Okay, let's say they block, let's say they block the tight end. So they block the tight end, and we're still watching the, the running back right so this is a max protect we're going to send seven and what you'll notice here is if the tight end blocks um if the tight end blocks the linebacker should come in um should should come in after him so you'll see this again one more time and again i'm just manning up that linebacker on the right onto him and he's going to run a max protect snap the ball and you see he's going to come now, the one thing you can also do to make this work against like a max protect set, like let's say we were in that situation with the running back, right, that we were showing you, where the linebacker on the right side is not, um, like he's manned up on the running back, but he's not going, right? If you're in a situation like that, an easy fix to it, let's say the running back blocks here, is to just, as soon as you see the running back, just click the right stick in. And if you just click the right stick in, typically he'll blitz. Typically that linebacker will go. Okay, so that's another thing, another option that you can have. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I really like to um, come out and go to like a pinch dog three look right here like this and get this look pre-snap. This kills gun bunch. This defense kills bunch, in my opinion. It makes it very difficult for bunch to work. All we're going to do is we're going to drop that um, that linebacker on the right side. So Smith, you can keep him blitzing or you can drop him into um, a little flat zone. So he's going to play the outside corner routes, the crossing routes, all of those things. The next thing you can do is you can drop this um, 
this guy on the on the right here. Um, this 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 um, gosh dang it, this this tackle, this defensive end, you can drop him into a hard flat as well. So you could play Mabel coverage from this. And what's really nice is we're just going to send two people, okay? But we're basically going to um, have Mabel coverage on both sides. Remember, these are linebackers, so they're going to be able to get backed on it. And then we can bluff blitz our nose tackle and get a three wreck on the field, right? So now what we've done is we've created um, – We've created a pretty nice little max coverage scheme that looks exactly like our uh, that looks exactly like our blitzing scheme. And the cool part is you could do this like let's say you audible to pinch dog. You see, there's no change in the defense. There's no tell, right? So then when you when you set this up, now I'm running a, a three man rush basically, and all I'm going to do here is I might want to. Um, play these guys in hard flats on the outside to stop anything quick and you'll see here they're going to stop everything quick and you're getting double edge pressure every single time the beauty of this defense and the beauty of in my opinion of it is you always have the threat to be able to send everybody the other thing that i really like about this is when you hover with your user over the a gap okay when you hover with your user over the a gap and you crash your line um i think to the right probably works best but you can do whatever you want um, but when you hover and you use these crashes, you'll find that against max protect, this blitz is still going to come in free. You're still going to get a free runner at the quarterback. So you're able to, because of that free runner, really force them to have to adjust. Now, one other defense that I really like to do um, within this defense is I love to use or this deep safety right here, Amos. And the reason why is because I'll create different coverages from the same look. So I might run something like uh, Pinch Dog 3, but I might use her Amos instead of the, uh, the other guy. And what I'll do is I'll run Cover 2 on the left side here. You see this is Cover 2. And then on the right side, I'm actually going to run uh, Cover 3. So you'll see something like this. Maybe I create a Mabel coverage like that. You know, but that basically is very disguised and, you know, people are going to try to hit you deep, but you really are going to have that covered. And the cool part about 3-4 three, three, Bear, in my opinion, is the block sheds are really fast, um, like really, really, really fast, okay? Now, this is going to be really good against trips tight end, and the reason why it's going to be so good against trips tight end, in my opinion, is because trips tight end is not going to be able to pick up the pressure uh, typically because they're going to have to do other things to get players open. So if you're running this against trips tight end, you see you have this basic um, this basic look. Now, um, one thing you can do is you can do something like this right here, right? This is a man man coverage assignment. Now, if they motion, if they motion somebody to the right side, you need to make sure that you um, check out of it because they might be doing the deep streak glitch. But basically, your responsibility is the tight end, and you're going to see I'm going to get a plus one advantage at the quarterback with a blitz. The other thing you could do is, let's say you don't want to do, um, let's say you want to keep it base aligned, which I understand why you would, right? Um, this look right here is actually really good against trips because of the auto, or because you're coming out in this thing um, flipped, you're going to be able to be very successful against trips. So uh, if you have auto flip on, so for example, if I audible to pinch dog three, you see the deep blue safety is in the trip side, which is basically perfect. I mean, it's exactly what we want. Um, now just make sure that before you base align uh, or unbase align stuff that you blitz the linebacker. So the linebackers don't move. That's like really, really important. But now what I can do is I can set up, um, you know, basically a Mabel coverage to the left side. So I can do something like this and this coverage against trips tied in is really, really good. I mean, it's really, really, really tough to, um, to, to, to handle. And you've got your deep, your deep half on that side in case they do any cover three bombs. And then you have, you know, this two down lineman rush is really, really good because what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to hit you deep, right? But because of where your alignment is going on this play, they're not going to be able to do that based off of this play. It actually has better seam coverage than you might think. So because of that, you can kind of mix and match up these blitzes and coverages to really help you stop people. Now, we'll expand on this a little bit in the future, but this 3-4 bear scheme, I think it can be really, really effective, um, especially if you put under pressure on your outside rushers because you're, getting, you're always going to get a free runner. 
And I played somebody that was doing this. He had under pressure on his outside guys. And you're always going to get a free runner. What the under pressure is going to do is it's going to cause your quarterback to throw inaccurate balls all the time. And so this is something that you can go to that is really, really, really effective. Um, and honestly, like the fast with the fast linebackers now, you've got like 92 speed linebackers on the game. This is going to come in really, really quickly. And so I'd encourage you to try this out. It's really good against the run. Like if they run the ball, um, you're not going to have to be too worried about it. And again, I just like the I love the look of the I love the look of three four bear. Like three four bears been was my favorite defense to run last year, um, and I think it's going to probably end up being another really good defense this year. Even the linebackers don't react to the ball in zone coverage as well. Um, We'll see how that plays out. I'm going to have to do some tests on that. But I think, honestly, with some of the out-of-position players that are coming in, um, getting some be- – you know, I think you're going to actually see that this defense is going to work pretty well for you. So um, this is 3-4 Bear. It's good against the run, good against the pass. Um, again, you have – the key with this defense is you don't want to get fall in love with sending – eight every play right you you want to send eight then you want to drop eight then you want to send eight then you want to drop eight and kind of go in between those two things and it's going to confuse your opponent your opponent will start max protecting um the cool part about this blitz that i love about this blitz compared to other blitzes in this game is this blitz comes in against max protect and that's what makes it so, so dang good. Okay? So that is the 3-4 Bear video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want more defensive tips, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to get the um, defensive ebook that I've put out on this playbook um, that covers even more stuff on 3-4 Bear and even more stuff from other formations uh, within the 4-6 playbook, that link is in the description. And last but not least, if you want to join my text message membership, it's completely free, and I have a free Big Nickel Over G defense in there for you. A lot of pro players use it. Very, very solid defense. So if you want to pick that up, that link or uh, just text me. My number is 812 812- 216-3644. And it's also my numbers in the description. Thanks for your time, guys. Remember, we're probably live right now on YouTube if you're watching this. And we are also going to be um, posting more tips throughout today uh, on the defensive side of the ball. So excited for that.